I'm back with another vlog. The last time I did a vlog was two months ago. So I'm out with my husband and we are going to a, what is this called? This is a, a some kind of another motorcycle something. What does that say? Demo drive? Oh, demo, demo drive? Demo day. Oh, demo day. Yeah. I can't demo understand. Demo day. <laughs> I know you be like, I know y'all like, girl, can you read? Okay, so it's a demo day, and this is where, you know, people can come out and look at the bikes and, um, and test ride the motorcycles. Test ride the, the motorcycles. Okay, and he's in here too. He's in here. So that's where we're on our way to. Um, and we're going to see what they talking about out there. Of course, I'll film it. I don't know if I'm going to film it using my camera. I don't think so. I might use my phone. So, if you all see me in doubles on each side, I apologize about that. So, yeah, we will see you all out there. Devotion and stardust I'm broke, got it all in control Now I know what I want Like a natural woman You know I'm not a girl I guess outing was a bust for the hubby because they didn't have the kind of bike that he wanted to test drive which is this bike I'll try to put it somewhere on the screen and so yeah they never do every time he said every time he comes over here over here they never had dang you taking a lot of room travel <laughs> give it some roll boy <laughs> anyway okay I wonder if I've seen that He's showing me at Christmas. Well, not. Nah, it, it's. I haven't seen it if it's if it just came out, right? It came out on the night. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe we can watch that tonight. Uh, we can do a Netflix and chill. <laughs> no, let me stop. Okay. And chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gonna keep that in? <laughs> See, I can't do nothing with you because you was eating it. Yeah, so he was telling me about a horror, a Christmas horror flip. We went to go see Violent Night last night. Oh my God, that movie was so fun, so cute. I was getting, I had some nostalgic type of feelings watching it, but it was just really good. If you haven't seen, now if you don't like blood and gore and you know, cursing, you know, adult type of stuff. Not sex, but you know, the bloody and the gore and the fighting and stuff like that. But it was a cute Santa story and it was surrounded by a little girl. I think she was like 10, 10, probably something like that. But anyway, it was so, so cute. Before I get out of here, I wanted to talk to y'all about some myths, some anti-aging skincare myths that I feel you know, a lot of them I have talked about. Ooh, a lot of them I have talked about already, and some of them are surrounded around you know my age group of women. You know, 50, 50 plus. 
years but the first one being is that you know women who are 50 and up you know who are concerned about anti-aging we're we're using this all of this skincare and stuff like that because we're trying to stay young forever we feel as though you know i've heard people you know you know how you're watching another person's video and you go and you read the comments um and you know that, it's a lot of interesting things in people's comments um, but anyway whew. I almost feel like I need to turn on the AC. Are you, you still cold? You ought to be having that hat on. Are you happy? Nice and cold. You need to take that hat off. Huh? Anyway. So, um, where was I? Yeah, so there, you know, you, you hear people talking about anti-aging and what is anti-aging and people that, women that um, are all into that, they're just trying to stay young forever. And no, it's not a matter of that. It's just simply a matter of, it is hot. Oh my goodness, I can't even get through my thought. Okay, well, well, there we go. Okay, no. Child. Okay. I'm gonna get it, y'all. In just a second, I'm gonna fix this AC. It's like we live in Houston, and one minute it can be hot, and then the next minute, literally, it can be cold. But anyway, so yeah, I understand, and a lot of women in my age group that are into anti aging skincare, we understand that we're not gonna look young forever. We're just simply trying to take care of what we have for as long as we have. That's all that is. All right, so the next myth is you can stop using your anti aging skincare products once you see your desired results. And I know quite a few people believe that and you know it kind of reminds me of like um you know if you're taking medications and you be like oh yeah i feel good and better i'm gonna stop well you feel good you feel good and better because you're on your medication but anyway and i can attest to that because here recently um when i stopped doing videos probably about two months ago i got really sick i got i uh, had the flu and let me tell you my skincare routine I that would just went flop no more I just really wasn't doing it and like if you were to like do a comparison like touch my skin now as opposed to before I got sick there there is a difference if you stop using your stuff where you going where you going what you think about sit that that's why I got to drive. <laughs> I'm talking to y'all. Your voice is hypnotizing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lying, Where, huh? where you going? We going to be at the airport. What? And we live on the way. <laughs> anyway. Your voice is just hypnotizing. I'm like, oh. Don't. You going to have me say something for these people. You going to have me say something. Anyway. <laughs> I made me lose my train of thought. Crap. What was I talking about? I was talking about you gotta continue. Your oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Need to hit. Well, I tell you, my husband is good at blowing smoke up my, you know what? He will blow it. He will blow it. He hypnotized me over here. I'm like. <laughs> and you look like you was hypnotized. He was just, y'all should have seen it. He was just like, and he was riding. I'm like, what in the hell? He's supposed to exit. He waved five lanes over. I'm like, we don't never. We don't even live that way. We ain't. But you better get over. So anyway. <laughs> anyway. So you really do have to use your skincare products regularly. Give them the opportunity to work. Because they'll work. Just, just give them an opportunity. The next myth that I hear a lot of people talking about. <clears throat> when... Uh, you look on either TikTok or Instagram or even, you know, other YouTube videos and they're talk there is a woman in my age group or older. And so I wanted to pause it here and just say I'm talking about when people look at an older woman and they say, oh, she looks good for her age and that's because of her genes. 
Now say, oh, it's just her jeans. And let's say she's talking about her skincare. Oh, it's just her jeans. And actually, that's a myth because our, our, the way that we age is, what is that? I don't know what that is. Anyway, the, the way that we age are, you know, made up of two processes. There are intrinsic intrinsic and extrinsic. I'll put it on the screen. And intrinsic is the natural part of the way that you age. And that would just be the genetically determined process. And extrinsic would be the processes of external factors like free radicals. It would be smoke pollution, sun, the UV rays, all of that. That's what that would, would be. So anyway, that's one myth. You know, when people say, oh, it's all about genetics. Well, that it is some part of it, but if you don't take care of what, what you have, which is with anything, if you don't take care of what you have, it's, it's just going to kind of fall all apart. And the next myth, um, I've heard people say, um, once uh, they get up in my age group is that your diet doesn't matter. It's kind of like once you get past that acne uh, phase, you know, as you get older, older women or people typically don't get acne on their skin. So, um, so they think that uh, diet no longer plays a part and it definitely does you know eating a well-balanced uh, healthy diet is helpful to the skin and if you don't you know you don't eat right um, it will show I know it's definitely like that with for me now granted there is an exception to every rule you do have part of you do have people who can eat literally junk food all the time literally all the time and they have beautiful skin I'm not talking about them <laughs> Just talking about most people that diet is important all right so the next one is chemical pills are good for aging skin and I know some people may disagree with me on that but any for me when you have a, a particular process or excuse me a, a particular treatment and that treatment could possibly do you know have several side effects that are harmful like a chemical pill you can there's a uh, rash and irritation uh, you can get scarring of course that's a low uh, probability you can get an infection and you can also get discoloration if it an increase in pigmentation that's hyper if it's a decrease in color or pigmentation that's hypo and of course uh, people of color are the ones that typically get hyper pigmentation so chemical pills are, are good when I hear people say that I, I think that's a myth now if you are a dermatologist or an esthetician you know and you disagree please let me know down in the comments all right so the next myth is and I still think a lot of people believe this and I have to I have to say sometimes you know, I can get bamboozled for a second or two. But uh, one myth is the the more expensive a product is, the better it works, and that's just simply not true. What matters um, in a product is the ingredients, and that's that's why I talk to you all a lot about that, and I try to talk about what uh, certain ingredients can do to your skin and that's just not true just because because i've seen a lot <laughs> of luxury skincare and when i say like luxury i'm talking about for serum three four hundred dollars and you look at the ingredients and they have straight trash just trash in there so uh and that and that's really good because you know you, you not everybody can afford you know those big high ticket items you know so you can get some uh, reasonably priced uh, skincare products for example the ordinary is super inexpensive also the inky list is super inexpensive also good molecules are really good um, affordable products that have some good ingredients 
so the last one is that anti-aging skincare will just totally totally stop the aging process and that's just simply not true and you know a lot of all of these i have just pretty much seen heard people talk about seeing people just make comments in other people's comment section because i go straight to the after i watch the video or i'll watch a TikTok short or an instagram something or whatever i go straight to the comments and you, you would not believe well i'm sure you would believe look at that car why would you want to call that color did you see the color of that car so um so you just would not believe some of the stuff that you know people think so these are just a few myths let me know if you've heard of any myths that um need to be debunked that other people um you know just kind of still believe now mind you these are just a few there's many 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 more so anyway i apologize about the light i think maybe if i was sitting i should have been sitting way over there but i'm kind of leaning this way and the sun the sun is coming in over that way but anyway all right you all that concludes the vlog thanks so much for tuning in and until my next videos which is <laughs>